This is Just Tool Basics, and today we're talking about thread checkers. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Just Tool Basics. Today's topic is thread checkers. It's a pretty simple tool. Uh, it's just a way to check what kind of thread a given screw or nut is, or bolt. And uh, there are different kinds. Um, you might see the kind that are like a fancy board. Uh, you see these at the hardware store where it's an array of sticking out studs and nuts that you can test bolts that you bring with you so that you can pick the right one there to buy. These are more appropriate for home use. And the reason that I like these more is because you can bring them to the thing you're working on, whether that's a car, something in your house, things like that. You don't have to bring your thing over to your little panel of test bolts to see if it's the right size or, or what size it is which wouldn't even work in the cases of like studs or other things that aren't removable car parts are an excellent example here so get right down to it the way you check stuff is you take your given bolt in this case and you just figure out like oh, that's obviously too big this is about the right size and look at that it screws right in there and you want to screw it in down a little bit because especially if you're not sure if it's SAE or metric it may go in a tiny bit and then bind and you may get bad information and we'll come back to that topic in a minute here and it works down to small ones I, I believe this is metric uh, and you can see that that is obviously too small and this looks like it's probably about right come on there we go yeah, there it is. And uh, let's see how it works on the the SAE side. This is about the same size. And as you can see, I can start to thread it on, but then it binds up, and like I can't I can't screw it on any farther because the thread is wrong. The pitch is wrong. Now, in this case, red is SAE, blue is metric, different sets of these have different standards for those colors but that's neither here nor there the important thing is that while I know that this is an SAE bolt and I chose this bolt on purpose because 3 8 16 is very very similar to M1015 and uh, as you can see each one of them are marked that's why I know which one it is but this will screw in all the way on an M1015 and it will seem like it's the right size but it's actually not one it's very loose in there and while it's not tight in the other one and the correct size 3816 it is still close now the way that you can know that this is the wrong size and this is true for even if you don't have these if you just need to see if the thread pitch are the same between two screws the way you do that is you place the screws or the, the threads of the bolts together as you can see, this doesn't mesh up exactly. In fact, you know what? I'm going to switch out for a macro lens and we'll get real close to this. All right. So, as you can see, this is an M1015, and this is our earlier established 3 8 by 16. And as you can see, these threads almost mesh up but don't actually mesh up and you're only going to see that you know obviously when it's longer than about a half an inch it's about 13 millimeters for you metrics folks but it should mesh all the way and i'll show you how it looks on the actual matching bolt you can see that that meshes right up like those teeth go all the way to the bottom of the gullies and uh, the lands, I don't know how you even refer to those things. The screws mesh up all the way, all the way in. And like there's no, there's no rocking. Back to the bad one again. Let's see here. Like it just, there's just no way to make those teeth match all the way. So there you go. That is how you, you check if a thread is, is truly matched up. And, you know, I, I obviously have this tool. I use that, that thread-to-thread technique all the time. I mean, for a quick 
uh, you know, digging through a pile of my random bolts and screws, that's the fast way to figure out if stuff matches. If I'm unsure, for example, if um, one of the screws is like a low buck screw and it seems to be like a slightly weird diameter, I might reconfirm that with this test tool. But uh, for matching up bolts, that, that's honestly the, the fast way to do it. But this is great if you're looking for not just does it match, but you know, I need to go to the store and buy more of these. What are they called? You know, 3 8 dash 16 or 3 8 by 16 pitch is uh, is the way you figure that out is with these things. Otherwise, you have to use those tiny little thread pitch things, which are usable, but they're they're not my favorite. And we'll we'll hit on those in another video. I think this approach, the straight up thread checkers are just much easier to use. So until next time, this is Just Tool Basics.